Welcome back guys to another series of home basketball workouts. Today we'll be working with some tennis balls. Really good to strengthen your handles because it requires a different level of focus because the ball is much smaller and also works on your hand-eye coordination. But before we start the workout, I just want to remind you guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and to follow us on our different social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, at be fit and get saved. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start off with simple getting a feel of the ball, right? So you're gonna throw the ball up and grab it with an overhand grab, all right? So here, right hand, okay, just get an overhand grab. You could do this for about 25 times and then do the same thing with your left hand. Some of the best basketball players in the world use the tennis ball to strengthen their ball handling and work on their hand-eye coordination, removing their focus from the basketball and placing it on something else. All right, so after that, we're gonna incorporate catching the ball here and our feet because basketball is all about having proper footwork, being able to dribble, being able to move our feet and having the proper footwork. So here we're gonna go catch and then we're gonna have our right foot in front because we're dribbling with our right hand, all right? And get back into position. So boom, catch, same thing, working, same thing, 25 times, all right? Overhand grab. You see my feet, I'm always splitting as if I'm ready to go for a drive. Same thing left hand. So with the left hand, when I'm getting my overhand grab, I wanna make sure my left foot is going towards the drive, towards the front. So here it goes. So after you've done that, you could do the same thing, adding a clap. So right here, I'm clapping, and then I'm getting the ball. Clap, getting the ball. Clap, getting the ball. We're just trying to get the difficulty level to increase because we wanna be able to do different things because in the games, when a defender is guarding you, you're not really focused on dribbling or on your footwork. You gotta be uh, conscious of your environment and of the players that are open or if you have a lane to the basket, all right? So for the last drill, we're gonna go through our legs, front and back, working on the same split footwork, simulating a game move. The lower you are, the harder it is to guard. Iverson is a prime example of a player playing at a lower stance, making him a player that's really tough to guard. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two on tennis ball drills from home. Be blessed and stay safe.